Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone to today's lecture video about electro-pneumatic control circuits. We're going to look at the approach, different approaches and technologies. Mainly we can categorize the technology into two, relay logic which is the old technology and programmable logic controller which is the new technology also known as PLC. Under each of these technology headings, we have different approaches that we are going to look at individually in the upcoming slides. What is worth noting is the difference between these two. Although they carry the same name, they are actually quite different. And we are going to explain that later on. Also, graph set is a French acronym that stands for Step Transition Function Chart. These three languages used in programming PLCs are considered graphical languages. Here we have a relay logic workbench where we can see the large number of wiring required to connect between the different relay boards and this makes up the complex signal processing capability of the electro-pneumatic system. However, the kind of wiring required makes the system untidy and less appealing. Therefore, the industry made the move towards the new technology of PLC where we have this single unit of PLC and we can see the less amount of wiring required it is more presentable more flexible more reliable and easier to troubleshoot easier to design so let's have a look at a PLC unit and what it's made of. Every PLC must have the following components, an input module, an output module, a central control unit and also a software to run the PLC unit. And the PLC is going to be interfaced with sensors inputs on the input module and also is going to be interfaced with actuators outputs on the output module. Every PLC is represented symbolically by this diagram and this diagram actually refers to the actual input module on the PLC unit and the output module on the PLC unit as well. So I stands for input and Q stands for output. And every PLC comes with power supply connectors to energize the unit. Back to the relay logic circuit where we want to compare the electrical circuit with the ladder diagram equivalent. Both circuits have same components in terms of function, however some components might look different. It is, hel it is helpful to know that an electrical circuit is always shown in vertical orientation whereas a ladder diagram is always shown as horizontal orientation. Both, both of these circuits have exactly the same function. The only difference is the way of presentation. This is called rail and this is called rung. So rail is where the power is sent through and the rung is where the components are placed. 
solenoid have the same function but look different on both circuits on the ladder diagram circuit it looks like a coil and on the electrical circuit it looks like a rectangular shape looking further into another circuit where we can see the relays again we are seeing the relay on the ladder diagram circuit looks circular and it is rectangular on the electrical circuit likewise there is there are minor differences in the relay contacts for the read switch they are still being the same in terms of symbol and function however and as well as the magnetic switch we are still retaining the same symbol for both electrical circuit and ladder diagram equivalent here we are seeing the time delay relay where it is circular for the ladder diagram and it is rectangular for the electrical circuit their contacts as well look a bit different in terms of the symbol and here is a list of the different components used in both circuits where we can see the apparent difference between the push button in the electrical circuit and the push button in the ladder diagram mostly as we mentioned earlier electrical circuits are vertical whereas ladder diagram components are horizontal here we have the programmable logic controller and it is very crucial to point out early on not to be confused between the ladder diagram equivalent and the PLC ladder diagram program and we are going to spend some time on this to clarify this confusion so what makes PLC ladder diagram program different is the following a PLC ladder diagram program does not con contain actual inputs neither actual outputs PLC ladder diagram is purely a program whereas relay logic ladder diagram is an actual circuit with wirings PLC ladder diagram program is basically a software whereas a relay logic ladder diagram is hardware It's noteworthy that all the inputs and outputs in the PLC circuitry will be connected physically to the PLC modules. And for each input and for each output, there will be assigned name, address, tag, and sometimes called variables relay logic circuits use electromagnetic relays or solid state relays whereas a PLC ladder diagram uses virtual relay Here we can see two ladder diagrams. One representing the relay logic circuit at the top and at the bottom representing the PLC ladder diagram. At first sight, they look the same. However, they are different. So back to the basics the vertical lines are called rails and the horizontal lines are called rung
here is what makes the difference between the ladder diagram in relay logic circuit and ladder diagram in PLC program. All the actual inputs have been transferred to the outside of the ladder diagram. as well as all the outputs have been taken out outside the ladder diagram. So we are left with pure program in our PLC ladder diagram. There is no actual component inside it. We've taken out all the actual inputs, we've taken out all the actual outputs. However, it's important to know that although we have taken out all the actual input and output but we still represent them with their equi equivalent or with their corresponding variables so for each input there must be a corresponding variable or corresponding name inside the PLC ladder diagram. Similarly, for each output, there must be an equivalent or a corresponding variable that represents it. So, this is what makes a ladder diagram in the PLC program different, that it is purely software. So now we have seen how the inputs might look the same in the ladder diagram of the PLC but actually they are not because here it is actual component whereas here it is purely software. There is one more thing that we have left out in our discussion which is the relays. We know that in every relay logic circuit there are actual relays and actual contacts. However, in the PLC ladder diagram there are no actual relays. So these relays are only virtual or memory relays. They are basically software again. We term the relays in the relay logic circuit as relay and we term them in the PLC ladder diagram program as internal relays. Since they are not physically present, they are internal to the system. That is the reason behind the name. Every PLC connection comes with hardware and software. So on the hardware side, we have quite simple connection. What we need to do is very simple. We need to line up all the inputs on one side and line up all the outputs on one side. So as many inputs and outputs we have, we can just connect them to the PLC input and output module this is the input module and this is the output module. So we just simply connect them and then we start working on the program. So this is the program. And we should remember that for every PLC there must be positive supply and there must be ground or negative supply. PLCs can also be programmed with FBD, that is Functional Block Diagram. And this is how the program looks like. If you're using a FluidSim software, then you can look for the logic module or the digital logic module. 
where you can fit in the PLC program. However, in Fluid Sim 3.6, there is no PLC programming for the ladder program. There is only programming under the functional block diagram. As for the physical connection, we are seeing similar connection to the previous one. So physically, PLC connections are always the same, regardless of the program used, whether it is FBD, whether it is graph set, or even ladder diagram, the physical connection of the PLC should always maintain itself. Lastly, we are looking at the graph set program and the corresponding physical PLC hardware connection. So again, we shouldn't worry about the PLC hardware connection since it is the same. However, the only difference will be in the PLC program. So gra graph set program is available in FluidSim 5.0 and this is the international standard and it helps to reduce the complexity of the PLC programming in comparison to ladder diagram programs. So I hope with this quick introduction to the different electronumatic control circuits that things are clearer now and I hope to see you again. Thank you.